Good morning. Good morning. I am in the water cube again with Tobias. Tobias Schmitz from both ends. Uh, Tobias, Hi. why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tobias and I work at an environmental organization based in uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And uh, we work to uh, support environmental organizations in civil society throughout uh, the global south. And so, What's your main activity here in Stockholm World Water Week then? Uh, we're here to uh, host an event on the relationship between the human rights to water and uh, water quality, which is the theme for this. Uh, yeah. And and just recently the UN declared that uh, yes. the human yeah could. How what, what's your feeling on that? Uh, there was a huge victory in the sense that 120 uh, countries voted in favor of the resolution, so we have a massive resolution recognizing the human right to water and sanitation yeah. uh, throughout the world, so I think it's a huge victory. Yeah. Um, now the, the key challenge is to take that forward and to uh, begin to, to develop mechanisms to realize those rights in practice. Okay, and what, what would be your advice on to get that? Get going. Um, I think th one of the first steps is to develop national legislation uh, specifying the actual content of those rights. I think mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be very clear when you say the right to water, uh, what distance from the home, what is the quality of that water, uh, what is the affordability for the poor of that mm -hmm. water, and so on. These, these very concrete uh, aspects need to be incorporated in national legislation. Mm -hmm. That's point number one. Second point is that generally the voice of civil society is excluded mm -hmm. um, or uh, very minimally present and I think that it's very important that uh, donors throughout the world as well as governments begin to recognize the extreme value of monitoring from civil society the people who live in those particular environments have very day-to-day -day information about mm -hmm. uh, the quality of the resource and uh, the, the quality of the service that yeah. they're receiving and unfortunately the feedback loop back into the policy circle is very weak and we need to have I think a much stronger um, listening ear to the voice of civil society Okay, so well, I mean, this is your chance. Yes. If you if you have now a message to the world on 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 water, yes, what would it be? I would say invest in the capacity of civil society organisations throughout the world. Um, experts are fine. Yeah. Uh, experts are extremely useful, um, but do not go to the point of having government by experts. We need civil society. It's for the people, by the people, of the people, and that's where we have to start. That sounds very clear. Okay, Tobias, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.